all right uh hello everybody uh, welcome again to another uh, trading week uh well thankfully the uh, trading season of summer is now over and we are entering into one of the best uh, trading season of a uh, trading forex market okay uh so if we have if we haven't made money all through our uh, summer trading season uh this is the time for us to make up our account balances uh try to improve on profitability uh of which i am sure is going to be a very good time for us okay uh and uh, if you have made uh, losses uh, during the summer trading period uh, well you have to now uh, make sure you take advantage of uh, this uh, best trading time to uh, up your profit and cover up for those losses okay all right uh, without talking much let's look into the uh, forex factory economic calendar to see uh, those high impact news announcements uh, that are scheduled for this upcoming uh, trading week well we have quite um, uh, a good number of high impact news announcements here uh, most of them are very heavyweight i am talking about the interest rates the uh, non-farm payroll uh, non-farm employment change right there interest rate right there okay interest rate again um well uh, monday is bank holiday for the american dollar and the canadian dollar axis okay um whenever you have bank holiday from america it tends to affect uh, the entire market uh, things tend to go slow uh, that means on monday the 2nd of september we are likely going to be having a slow trading day okay we're likely going to be having a slow trading day um uh, price action itself is going to be uh, really slow so you need to uh, be careful trading on monday as usual okay all right so uh monday's labor day labor day uh, american banks all the american banks will be going on holiday uh, i am uh, thinking that after this uh, bank holiday uh, price action should come alive and we should begin to take advantage of the market uh, price action to make money uh, to our, up our account all right aside from that uh, like i said interest rate announcement uh, be careful australian dollar interest rate announcement early one on a tuesday we are going to see a uh, heavy market spike on tuesday early morning before the london market opens another one is the uh, interest rate coming from canada the canadian dollar rises uh, we feel in the heat uh, on uh, wednesday the 4th of september then uh, we have the um, employment data from the canadian dollar axis all right this is another one more of the year uh, nfp uh, it's a similar uh, news announcement and also uh, that from the american dollar axis uh, so this is a very heavyweight news announcement that will be scheduled for that will be coming out on friday okay so friday uh, this upcoming trading week is uh, actually going to be a trading week with much of price activity much of uh, market volatility so you need to be very active uh, open your eyes and catch up with the trading opportunities okay all right let's move into the uh, charts and see uh, the price action that we have waiting for us uh the first one we want to take here is the american dollar against the canadian dollar this is the uh, monthly time frame um well you can see that in the monthly time frame price has been hesitating all around this soon all right so the range has been here price has not moved uh, any further it took off right here uh, since then came back down it has remained flat all right so um the closest trend line here to price is this one here you can see how price has been respecting that level and right now it is trading closely again to that level um, but we are now scoring lower swing highs and lower swing lows all right uh, that shows us that the buyer seems to be pushing to the downside the bears uh, tend to be uh, gaining more momentum to drive price to the downside uh, however price is still trading above that level of support okay so until it breaks and if it does break uh we are likely going to be seeing more downside in the american dollar against the canadian dollar well this is a very long term it's in the monthly time frame let's see the weekly time frame in the weekly time frame uh we can uh, clearly anticipate or see uh that channel formation all right that channel formation 
price has bank of that area bank of this area bank of this area and also bank of this area even though it didn't uh, uh, bounce off to the pip we are expected it to bounce um we still expect that price is likely going to come back down either from here or from here okay uh, <clears throat> but the best uh, the most optimal zone to go short in the american dollar against the canadian dollar is around this area all right the next time uh, price pushes to that zone the next time price uh, challenges that area it's an optimal zone to look for your short entry based on your trading strategy um, that's because you are trading within this pattern formation okay so but if price pushes to the upside well you simply take your loss uh, this pattern as a whole is violated you need to start looking for a new pattern um, I am still optimistic that price will come back down and uh, more so that it is facing some sort of problematic zone if you connect these lows this once this uh, inner bounces here you can see how difficult it has been for price to push through that area if it can't push through then we are likely going to be seeing uh, maybe a fall to the downside then another crawl back up but for now uh, nothing to trade it is a problematic zone it is best to avoid price uh, at that area especially that your trading system is not calling for any entry uh, just like ours we have not seen any entry at that level the daily time frame you can see the more hesitation in terms of price action you can see the congestion heavy congestion around that area we got a trend line in the daily time frame with this this uh, bounces uh, that trend line got broken nicely we got a trend collapse entry price came back down immediately it was uh, rejected from that area so lots of confusion going on here all right lots of confusion going on there um to me uh i will not uh, go along at this point for now even though it is looking quite bullish it is looking that price will be pushing to the upside let's simply mark this level of resistance we're just going to keep um this level of resistance here you really do not want to uh, hit on your buy button against that level of resistance you don't want to do that all right don't buy against that level of resistance you always want price to uh, break above then you can begin to search for your entries uh, for pushes to the upside and of course um we are having now what looks more like a flat top triangle uh, so we are just going to keep this uh, type of uh, price action it is more of a flat top triangle uh, what we'll be looking for what we'll be looking out for now is for price to uh, leave this congestion zone either for a breakout to the upside or a breakout to the downside uh, trading within this congestion zone is quite difficult all right it's very hard to make money because price is practically heading nowhere and now that the summer is over we're hopeful that price uh, will be breaking out of most of those congested areas that we have seen uh, for a clear directional bias so for this let's hold on if price breaks to the upside we'll look for valid entry to uh, trade all the way to the next level of resistance if it breaks to the downside we'll look for valid entry to trade uh, back down to the next level of support okay all right uh, let's see the uh, forest time frame well forest time frame it's been uh, a very ugly one that's the range we're talking about uh quite hard to trade one of a time frame uh price broke above that leaning level of resistance right here okay broke above uh this is a pullback to retest it might push back up but hey this is um not ideal to trade here because we are trading around uh, a level of daily uh resistance all right level of daily resistance all right so uh for me or for us we are not taking any trade in this type of non-directional market uh, so we will just avoid a trading here for now all right next one is the uh, american dollar against the uh, mexican peso um this is uh, a currency pair that was uh and discovered to have a very good uh, ADR, a very good ATR, uh, the Amer American dollar against the Mexican peso. Uh, it's uh, it has a good average true range, uh, so it has been added into our um, uh, list of currency crosses that we are going to be following. Well, in the monthly time frame, you can see how price 
has given us some sort of uh, is it a diamond shape a triangular shape you can see that uh, this is a new pattern all right uh, so it took off nicely to the upside then we are having this type of shape um, well we need price to break out we need price to move out of this area but currently uh, price is trading around resistance and this level here has been holding it as support okay um we don't just uh, take a blind entry uh taking a short entry as price hits resistance we don't do that we always want the trading strategies to give us our entries in the weekly time frame you can clearly see how price is now trading around a uh, a point of conference that's an expanding triangle uh price is currently trading around a point of confluence uh that point where the monthly level of resistance and the uh, this is possibly the weekly level of our resistance coming together as resistance okay but hey we have not gotten any valid um uh, sorry let me change this color to our view um okay blue right there uh change this one to to blue all right it belong to a weekly time frame okay but we have not gotten any uh, valid reversal here we have not gotten any hint of price coming to the downside and so we'll keep watching and waiting until we get that valid hint uh, however it is an optimal area if you are trading around here you are not making uh, much of uh, a new B mistake so to speak uh, it is an optimal area for traders to look for short entries uh, assuming you were looking for short entries somewhere in here then it is a new B mistake uh, an ignorant trader that is looking for trade at the very wrong location all right now in the daily time frame we are in fact it's still very uh, uh, clumsy here so really nothing to uh, search there uh, let's just keep our eyes and see if we get any type of valid reaction uh, from the weekly time frame for us to go shop all right next one is the swiss franc against the uh, japanese here and i really do not want to waste your time here i am sure you have already seen uh, the type of price pattern that we are following here the uh, swiss franc against the japanese yen in the weekly time frame price is actually are uh, heading towards a point of conference again all right uh, that means uh, this pair is still bearish uh, we need to be watching price within this channel formation it still have uh, some room to the downside uh, so we'll be searching for a short entries in our intraday time frames um, in the daily time frame you can see that a level of support has been clearly broken out uh, that's the level of support right here okay that's a solid breakout candle uh let me try to resume in this chart so you can get a clearer picture all right you can see a level of support has been taken out in the daily time frame with that solid breakout candle so what we need to look out for is uh, uh any form of continuation move okay for price to keep pushing to the downside uh so just keep that on your radar and i am very hopeful that uh, we will find uh that continuation move um in the uh four hours time frame i am liking price action here the more let me just uh, take off this uh, level let me keep it in the daily time frame. right i am liking price action here especially uh if you fire in the uh, three sm indicator you will see how we have a valid three sm breakout setup here uh it's a breakout setup because we had a triangle formation all right a triangle formation so a price has broken to the downside all we need right now is some form of a pullback to that uh, breakout area and on the first green candle close i repeat on the first green candle close to the downside we are going to hit on our sell button and let price take us nicely to the downside on some nice profit okay so it's a valid high quality setup waiting for us uh we just need to wait uh, to get the pullback and um, the possible entry okay so be patient uh, this is waiting for us and we are following this in real time okay all right uh, the next one is the american dollar against the uh, swiss franc and this is the monthly time frame let's zoom in this uh, chart all right in the monthly time frame you can uh, clearly see 
the price has been in the range we have analyzed this before and of course um, price is trading very close to the uh, upper boundary the resistance zone and if price needs to follow this harmonic pattern of uh, swinging up and down the next up the next directional bias is uh, supposed to be to the downside so for the american dollar against the swiss franc uh, it is best to keep searching for short opportunities okay um, even here you will see that we got that in a trend line that the price got broken to the downside we got a pullback so anything we'll be seeing here is going to be an hesitation and from there on we still expect price to come back down so it is still best to search for short opportunities in the american dollar against the swiss franc in the weekly time frame uh this is what i am following this is what we are following um the uh, optimal area to look for short entry is this level here which is a spanning triangle and which has been acting as resistance uh, so price may likely keep pushing to the upside price may likely keep uh, hesitating and pushing to the upside but anywhere here is where we'll be interested to look for a short opportunity to uh, get our nice profit to the downside it is the most um, optimal trading zone for this pair okay even though we are seeing um, some uh, kind of a channel in the daily time frame you can see the channel formation there in the daily time frame uh where chances are that we are likely again going to have some hesitation hesitation then back to that area of the weekly time frame where we talked about somewhere in the air before price can come back down uh, so let's be patient and keep following price to see if we get um that valid entry uh, at the best, at the very optimal zone of uh, despair, maybe somewhere around in here, okay? Maybe somewhere around in here. Let's just be patient and hopefully we will get that entry for a price to give us some nice profit. All right, uh, in the uh, euro against the sterling pound, uh, well, you can actually see that price failed in the monthly time frame and we have a nice pin bar of that level of resistance okay well uh, while this is uh, obviously bearish it is clearly bearish uh, chances are that uh, the market movers may try to uh, uh, make some uh, wiggle there try to uh, dribble some traders take out their losses before we can eventually see the fall to the downside um, I would like to readjust these levels to uh, return them back to our original analysis. Remember, we made an analysis about this pair of an expanding triangle uh, before. So let's just return them to our original analysis. Okay. Um, let me zoom this uh, in. Okay. All right. Uh, then this one here. Okay. All right, so that's it. Uh, this was our original analysis, and we talked about this expanding triangle um, where price took a run to the upper boundary, and from there on, it was rejected. Uh, well, the next move now is to the downside. All right, it's uh, likely going to be to the downside. Um, if we are to take a very long-term trade here, we will simply click on our, our on our sell order here. Our stop loss is going to be somewhere around in here, which is quite far, but it's a trade that we can trade okay we can just take and forget about it um for the past uh, we can leave it there for even till next year but most brokers will begin to eat into your profit as you let your trade run for so many days um well so the best we can do here now is to wait again all right i need to wait again uh because price is likely going to be uh, facing some problematic zones uh especially with this area let me just draw that connecting that high all right okay let's say with this area we've got a bounce here a bounce here bounce here fake breakout here so if price comes down uh it's likely going to be facing some support here for another push to the upside so um the first thing is that uh price is likely going to drop to around somewhere in the air before the bounce for those of you smart traders you may want to catch that little drop all right you may want to catch this drop to the downside 
uh, then wait for price to make some uh, pullback again uh, for me i want to uh, really wait all right i want to wait to see if we can get some pullback again closer to that soon before i can initiate my short entry um let's see the uh, daily time frame daily time frame uh okay oh sorry weekly time frame okay not so uh, clear let's just take off this level keep it in the uh, monthly time frame and also change that color just a minute all right so in the weekly time frame we can see the uh, obvious bounce okay the obvious bounce of that uh, expanding area expanding upper uh, uh, leg of resistance um then in the daily time frame uh we got that rising trend line with two bounces okay uh that trend line has been mutilated at this time and so we cannot really trade uh, anything based on that type of price action so let's just remove that okay uh keep it somewhere in here and keep one here uh okay that's one right there then take one to the upside okay so price is currently trading um below that level of uh, uh resistance okay and above this level of support we have an intraday level of support here so uh within this range we'll just go into the uh, uh short term the forward time or the medium term uh this is our range okay looks more like a flat bottom triangle um so we are going to be waiting for price to to break okay uh let me go to the monthly time frame i want to keep this in the uh, four hours time frame or the hourly let's see how far we may want to target in case the flat bottom triangle breaks all right now if the flat bottom triangle breaks to the downside if we get a breakout then we want to be targeting all the way to the monthly level where we have proposed for a bounce okay uh, so that's the room um we will not just jump in blindly in the monthly time frame uh, looking to uh, target all of this uh, area we need to follow that in, with our strategy and here we have the uh, flat bottom triangle in the forest time frame maybe a valley tree sme setup of course uh, you can see that a valley tree sme uh, breakout setup okay very valid trees and breakout setup we got the first bounce around in here uh then it went sideways in a flat bottom triangle formation so all we need all we need to see now is the breakout if we get the breakout we are going to be searching for continuation moves uh all the way to the monthly level of support all right right here we close out the trade so let's wait it's another valid uh, absolutely fantastic setup for us to follow if it doesn't work out if we get um, the bounce of this uh, area then we might even be pushing up to that next area there which is uh, of course like uh, an expanding triangle uh, in despair okay so um, you need to be careful we'll keep following this pair hopefully we will get the right entry all right the next one is telling pounds against the uh, uh, Australian dollar in the uh, monthly time frame lots of hesitation uh, Brexit issues so many issues hanging for sterling pounds uh, it's been hesitation upon hesitation but we have uh, taken this range we have carefully uh, taken a range here believing that this is the next level of support and price should be coming down to hit that level of support and so we are bearish with the sterling pounds against Australian dollar in the um, weekly time frame you can obviously see that uh, internal channel okay and we did analyze this pair before we had talked about the possibility of a resistance around that soon and you can see how price has been rejected and so it is likely going to crash all the way to this next level of support so we are bearish here and we'll be looking for only short entries in the daily time frame um, we also analyzed this we talked about that point of conference uh, you can see the reaction so we are still bearish here looking for only short entries in the forward time frame we've got a flat bottom triangle a nice one to keep an eye on so while we are bearish 
we have a valid setup we have a very valid setup here and the valid setup is this flat bottom triangle in the four hours time frame so what we need to see here is a breakout and we'll set for continuation mode so these are very high quality setups and if they do if they uh, indeed uh, do a breakout the way we want them to break out in our directions uh, definitely we should be making some nice profit with them all right on our radar we'll keep that uh, the sterling pounds against the canadian dollar uh, on this one in the uh, monthly time frame you can uh, actually see that we are getting some hesitation but not happening around not happening around that level of resistance uh, clearly price is bearish and we should be interested in only short entries i am going to be removing this level i will keep it right here with these little touches uh, that is where we are finding let me zoom in the chat all right these little touches that is where we are having the uh, congestion bar right there okay it's a congestion bar and chances are that we are going to see uh, more downside to the next level of support so this is bearish again if we connect uh, this lows you are likely going to be in fact let me use this standard trend line um let's take this low uh that one here yeah. okay all right so connecting this low uh, that one here this one okay all coming together it has become a point of conference uh this low this one and this one all coming together so we are getting a breakout uh, some form of a congestion bar and possibly for a continuation move to the downside in the sterling pound against australian dollar uh we'll be looking for how to get involved in this uh, trade uh, anyhow we will let you know okay all right so let's keep that uh, in the daily time frame it's uh, more like a range it has uh, been sideways for some days uh, but price is still bearish with this pair the forward time frame uh, actually you can see how we got a rising trend line in the forward time frame that was broken all right that was clearly broken uh, price is now sitting far away from the trend line uh, we are likely going to be seeing some push to the downside so this is one of those setups again that we may be finding a valid entry in uh, uh, the forex market of course you can see the uh, type of double uh, top right here this is the neckline this is the bounce then the breakout we are hopefully going to be seeing more downside in this pair and we will look for ways to get involved all right finally the euro against the american dollar in the weekly time frame uh i have uh, tried to narrow down my analysis to the weekly uh, channel right to the weekly channel uh, this is more of a fake breakout that drove price back down so price is now trading around uh support zone right support zone not yet broken but hey the type of price action itself is quite murky uh, really a terrible one for so many weeks so um but we need to be patient to see what's going to happen in the daily time frame uh we can obviously see that price broke that key level of support uh now sitting around the weekly level of support well friday is the nfp all right Friday is the NFP and that is where we are going to get the final decision uh, whether the euro will keep pushing to the downside or maybe bounce uh, to the upside. Uh, so we need to wait until Friday but for now price is trapped in between support and resistance. So uh, there's nothing we can do in that area. All right, folks, it's been a very long video, about 30 minutes long. Uh, sorry about this. I just had to uh, conduct this review. Remember, it's been a very long time. We haven't done review. Uh, so this is uh, actually uh, worthy uh, for uh, this time. We hope things are going to get better so we can do more reviews over and over. Um, thanks again uh, for watching. <laughs> Uh, sorry about uh, the noisy background my uh, son is already knocking at the door all right if you have questions or contributions uh, feel free to uh, ask uh, send them across and we'll be very happy to respond to them uh, i'm wishing you a very profitable trading week ahead uh, i will be with you all through the uh, times as a uh, price action will be back soonest cheers and bye-bye